Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Avery. I'm 23 years old and I live in the Midwest. In today's video, I will be going over my net worth update for March 2022. So please um, give this video a like if it's something that you like. Um, anyways, this is the third time or maybe the fourth time I'm filming this video. I had an issue with the audio last time. So I think I'm going to breeze through this because honestly, it's not the most exciting net worth update and you'll see why. So taking a look at my assets, I have a pension account, a Roth IRA, a 457B, a Robinhood account, my car, and then my three cash accounts in, or my bank accounts. So some things to note here, I did have an increase in my pension account. The value of this account will always go up, but it's not invested like a traditional 401k is since it is a defined benefit plan. I do have 10% of my pre-tax income that goes into this account and I get a 1% interest rate. If I reach five years in public service, I get a 33% additional amount added. So if I put $100, $100 in after five years, my value of my account would increase by $133. Obviously, the most important or the most like beneficial aspect to a pension account is if you retire and take a pension from the system. And, and after 10 years, it's a 67% additional amount. So I did have the value of my pension account go up. The value of my Roth IRA also increased. I put in $125 now. I'm putting in $150 starting in May, given the uh, pay increase that I had. Um, and it looks like at the time that I decided to check my balance in my Roth account, I it does look like the market was up since it's the change is $177. My 457B, I'm not actually contributing to this account. Maybe in the future I will be. This is just left over from one of my last jobs in public employment. And there was a $13 increase. So again, like the Roth, it seems like it was a good day for the market when I decided to look at the value. Robinhood, same thing, up by $2. Value of my car, kept it at $15,000. It's probably worth more than that, but I'm not going to update it until it starts being worth less than that. Checking account, savings account, my credit union account. These accounts, they kind of just depend on like what kind of bills are coming out, what kind of like one-off expenses I'm having, or if I decide to spend like money for my sinking funds. Um, just something I would note is that my savings account is where my rent comes out each month. So I have an automatic deduction from that account. So you do see a decrease in that account. But of course, if I had transferred money from my checking to my savings, you wouldn't have saw it would look like there was an increase maybe in savings. Does that make sense? So that's kind of just like neither here nor there. As far as like my total assets, um, my starting amount in at the end of February was $35,175. And then my ending amount is $36,020. That does seem like a really high like asset to me at my age. However, we have to think most half, almost half of this is coming from my car. So, and then a good chunk of it is coming from my cash savings. So I'm not really at the point where my investments are really taking control of how my net worth is fluctuating. It's mostly like personal spending decisions. Now, obviously I have over $8,000 in my pension account, but again, if that's not invested like a traditional 401k would be or a defined contribution plan, then you don't really see that having a huge impact other than just whatever deposits were made into that account each month. As far as my liabilities, they did not change. I still owe $22,075 on my student loans. I still um, am not paying on those since Biden extended the loan forbearance again. And I probably won't make any payments until they officially go back into, re no, right before they go back into repayment. The problem is they keep changing it all the time. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to give the government money if they're not truly asking for it personally. So I've just been saving the money that I've wanted to put towards my student loans in my uh, bank account. As far as like any target loans, I'm going to target the largest loan also has the largest interest rate over 5% once the loans go back into repayment. Down here, we can see my net worth by month. I have, um... In February, I had a $13,100 net worth. In March, there was an increase by $845. So I'm just under $14,000 for my net worth. I'm excited to see like the value of my net, 
like my uh i'm excited to see how my net worth like changes over time this is my first month like officially tracking it so it should be awesome to like fill in this chart and see it change month over month and hopefully it'll increase but i don't have a specific net worth goal right now and it does look like i'm not sure why this number is negative if you know let me know but it does look like it increased by six percent so that's a pretty good increase all things considered and just last thing I'll mention is that I did get this net worth tracking spreadsheet from Lauren Miller. She's a personal finance channel on YouTube. So if that is, um, if you're interested in it, I'll leave it down below. As far as like the last thing I'll mention, I do actually have some like update about like maybe my career slash my job. I did, um, was working on my resume last night simply because my friend wanted to refer me to a position with her company and doing something in like banking and financial services. I currently work in public employment, but I would be willing to make a change to private employment given the general salaries are higher. Let's be honest. <laughs> there seems to be more career growth instead of like stagnation. Like you can really like branch out and try different things and see what you really enjoy as compared to my job at least in my department i've kind of learned everything i can learn and i'm only a year into the job and potential movement is going to take a long time and i'm not sure if i'm willing to wait for that so just some things i've been thinking about i have not been looking for a new job honestly but i do think i need to at least explore this opportunity given it would have a 50 percent uh increase in my pay almost 50 percent and I could do a lot more things with this position, like go in a lot of different directions with my career. And yes, I think I need to at least consider it because obviously if I got a better paying job, I could quit my side jobs and still work towards my financial goals, probably at a quicker rate than what I'm doing now. I'll go ahead and end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like because it really does help out my channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.